This is an ABC News election update. Good evening. Another Tuesday, another critical primary. And as we said in the headlines, ABC News is projecting that John McCain has won an important victory over Mitt Romney in the most important Republican primary so far, the state of Florida. Rudy Giuliani staked his future on winning Florida. He is a very distant third. And if you look at the numbers, we have 62% of the vote in so far. John McCain, with over a 60,000 vote lead over Mitt Romney, and a four percentage point lead. McCain carries Florida. It is an extraordinary comeback for John McCain, whose campaign was in such trouble late last year, and it certainly puts him in a very good position going into Super Tuesday a week from tonight. But we're going to check with our correspondents who cover the Republicans, and we're going to start with Ron Claiborne, who covers the John McCain campaign for us, and they've got to be pleased with this one. Well, pleased indeed, Charlie. This is huge. This is just really huge. John McCain, if this holds up, and we're projecting him to be the winner, this means he has won a Republican closed primary, not depending upon those independent votes that gave him the margin of victory in New Hampshire and South Carolina. And with it, he gets the three M's, the big three M's going into Super Tuesday next Tuesday. That is momentum, money, and media attention. And he also gets Ron a D, delegates, because 57 delegates at stake in the state of Florida. It's a winner-take-all state. He gets them all. Ron Claiborne, thanks. John Berman uh, covers Mitt Romney for us. And this is a state, John, he spent a lot of money. He staked a lot in Florida. Didn't get it. That's right, and Romney's speaking right now behind me. He said, almost not quite. And as you said, everything was lined up for Mitt Romney here. Only Republicans could vote. He has all the money to spend. He outspent all his opponents combined, and he had the issue. Everyone in the country is talking about the economy. Mitt Romney always has thought that he is much stronger than John McCain on that issue. So what went wrong? Romney aides point to the endorsement of Charlie Crist, the high-profile governor of Florida who backed John McCain over the weekend. Also, they say McCain went negative over the weekend on the issue of Iraq, and that hurt Mitt Romney. So what next? Now the Romney campaign really is in a position where they have to cherry-pick delegates around the country. Look at places like Minnesota, Colorado, Montana, states with caucuses and conventions where organization and money matters. That's where Mitt Romney is going to target. Charlie. All right, John Berman, thanks very much. Jake Tapper has been with Rudy Giuliani in recent days. Giuliani, as we said, staked so much on this one. And word is he gets out tomorrow, Jake? That's the plan right now. You can hear Rudy Giuliani. He is giving what sounds very much like a farewell speech, although he has not officially dropped out of the race. Sources tell ABC News that Rudy Giuliani and John McCain's campaigns have talked about Giuliani flying to California tomorrow as planned and endorsing John McCain before the Republican debate. The plans are still ongoing, but Rudy Giuliani right now giving a speech in which he sa says very much everything in the past tense. He's proud of the campaign that he ran. I don't back down, but there must always be a purpose. The responsibility of leadership doesn't end with a single campaign, looking very much like a valedictory address. All right, thanks very much. Jake Tapper, uh, Rudy Giuliani, who led in the national polls for so long, but adopted a risky strategy bypassing the early primaries to concentrate on Florida, a strategy that didn't work. Our chief Washington correspondent, George Stephanopoulos, with us now. This is an extraordinary comeback for John McCain from where his campaign was just a few months ago, out of money and without much support. It had collapsed. He had to fire almost all of his staff. He was broke, as you said. He had to take federal matching funds. He had been left for dead on the political playing fields, but he came back, going back to his roots, getting that win in New Hampshire with a strategy based on town meetings. As the situation in Iraq got better, his campaign picked up speed, and he was also to take out uh, Rudy Giuliani in those early states, especially in New Hampshire. And now he is, Charlie, the clearly the front runner. This nomination is his to lose, and he's likely to get that big boost that Jake Tapper just talked about when Rudy Giuliani endorses him. That will give him a huge boost in the states of New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, all winner-take-all states. So while Mitt Romney is cherry-picking for those delegates out west, it's very likely that John McCain is going to have a head of steam towards tens of delegates, dozens of delegates next Tuesday. And just literally in 10 seconds, it allows him to concentrate on California, I would suspect. Absolutely. He's going to run a national campaign, a national primary, and the momentum will help him in all of those big states. Coming up on Super Tuesday, when the Republicans, like the Democrats, will have primaries or caucuses in more than 20 states. But we do need to mention the Democrats because they also had a Florida primary today. Hillary Clinton 
we project a big win over Barack Obama. You can take a look at the vote totals in the state of Florida. She had an 18 percent point win with 63 percent of the precincts reporting. But because no delegates were at stake for the Democrats, the vote in Florida really has no consequence. And the Democrats are already focused on next Tuesday as well, Super Tuesday, when 22 states, in their case, will hold primaries or caucuses. So how does a candidate campaign in 22 states in one week? Not easily and not cheaply. Here's Kate Snow. Barack Obama spent today in the hometown of his maternal grandfather, El Dorado, Kansas. This country is more than a collection of red states and blue states because my story could only happen in the United States of America. The campaign for the Democratic nomination has gone from one-on-one -on -one with voters to a full-scale national push. Kansas is one of 22 states that will vote one week from today, states rich with Democratic delegates. In all, 1,700 delegates are up for grabs, a critical test for the campaign strategists. You have to look at your schedule every day. You have to make decisions about where you're going to use your most precious resource, the candidate. Her, his or her time, where are you going to spend your dollars and resources in terms of television advertising? It is time now for Barack Obama. Senator Kennedy's endorsement of Obama yesterday could help him in Massachusetts. And the Kennedy name could help in heavily Hispanic states like New Mexico and Arizona, where Clinton now has an edge. A new ad featuring Caroline Kennedy will run in major cities and on national cable starting tomorrow. Barack Obama gives us that same chance. But it's worth remembering Hillary Clinton has a lot of strength on that map. A subdued Bill Clinton was in New Jersey today. Tomorrow, the senator visits Arkansas, and the latest polls show her way ahead in California. The campaigns will make a calculation that they can or cannot win California. And, and that's going to be the big enchilada. A new Spanish ad for Clinton is running in California, Arizona, New York, and Connecticut. And Clinton will target New Yorkers with another ad, taking no chances, even in her home state. Kate Snow, ABC News, Washington. For continuing election coverage, stay with ABC News.